Hi guys, it's Tony, and in today's video, I will show you how you can create these customizable video components that fits the overall theme of your page. Since at the moment, the framer's built-in video component doesn't let you modify what the videos look like in your site, but with this solution, you can match any style and color preferences to make your site stand out from the rest. You can also remix this project for free from the description below and access the components for Vimeo, uploaded and URL based videos for your Framer pages. But now, let's get started. So you can see I have already set up my Framer page in here and it consists of the hero section at the top and then, then this video section. And to get started, we want to go into the insert menu and search for video. And as you can see, we have three different elements in here, video, Vimeo and YouTube. And this solution works with video and Vimeo components. So let's drag the video component here and let's make sure that it's not set into the same section with the copy. And now let's lock the aspect ratio, meaning that when we scale the video up and down, it will stick to its aspect ratio. But let's set that to be filled. And now let's go into the video component and let's create a new stack on top of that one. And let's create a new component out of that stack. Let's call that one a video component. And now we want to have two different stages in here. So the first stage, is our video pause state and the second variant is our video play state. And the main idea here is that we want in this state we want the video to be paused so go into the settings in here and make sure that the playing is set to be no and in this another video play variant we want to make sure that the video is actually playing and now when we switch between these two we can pause and play the video. So now we want to create the controls for our video. So let's go back in here where we have the icons. Let's create a new stack on top of this play one. Let's give it a padding of 40, for example. And again, let's select that one and let's create a component. And let's call this one a video controls. And here we want to create another, another one as well. Let's call the first one play and the second variant pause. Uh, let's take the pause icon from there. Let's go back to here and let's set this inside here. And now we can easily change the colors of these both. So let's set the field to be black and let's give these icons some nice vibrant color like this. And then we can create hover stage for both of these. So just press on the plus icon here and select hover. And now we actually want the field to be this green one and the icons to be color blacks and now when we preview this you can see that it, when we are hovering it changes the color nicely so these are our video controls that we are needing and now let's go back into the video component that we created earlier and let's drag and drop this video controls component in here make sure that it position is set to be absolute and place it into the middle of the video section and you can make sure that it's pinned at the center. And now we want to be set this video play to have the pause variant and the video pause to have a play variant. And this is because when we're pressing from here, it transitions into here. And now just press from here, drag the noodle, make sure that the interaction is set to be click and do the same thing for the pause button. And this means when we are clicking from here, it changes the variant the one that is playing and vice versa. And now, as you can see, even though the video is playing, the icon, the button will still stay there, stay there. So we want to change that. So to fix that, let's go to the video play variant and let's add a new hover state. And in here, we want to make sure that actually in this like main video play variant, the button is not visible. So go to the opacity, set that to be zero, and from this hover state, let's set the opacity be one, meaning that it's visible. And now when we preview, you can see that the button disappears when we are not hovering the video. And this is basically the main component. And when we go to the preview, you can see that it works super nicely and smoothly in here. 
We can also add some tweaks here and there for the video component. For example, if we want to add an overlay for the video before it's not playing, we can add a new frame in here, which we can also call overlay. And let's make sure that the position is set to be absolute. And again, let's position it to be zero points from each corner again. So it fools the whole screen. And now what we can do is like, we can go here, make that a bit dimmer. And we want this to be removed when you go into the video play sections. So we can just go here and remove the opacity. And now if we preview, you can see that when it's playing, it's not there, but when it's paused, the video will actually be dimmed out a bit. And also, if you want, you can go into the video play section and select the video. And if you, for example, want to make the contrast visible when the video is playing, you can do that by pressing from here. But if you have also the overlay set up, you can see, notice that actually the controls are not there. And that's because the overlay is set on top of the video. So actually the video doesn't recognize that you are like pointing your pointer on top of the video. So to fix that, we want to go into the overlay and let's change this from the main variant. And also always when you do change to the main variant, it by default updates all the other variants. So go to the overlay, then go to the styles, press on the plus and add a new pointer event and make sure that it's set to be none. And this means that this layer doesn't actually, is not recognized by your pointer. So it means that when we go here and we have set our controls in here, now there's something wrong. Let's go to see what's that. And it's because like we don't have those controls visible in our hover state. So let's make sure that it's also visible in here. But now when we preview this, you can see that you can also access the controls from here. But this is not mandatory, but if you want to provide a bit more control for your users, you can do this easily this way. And as a last thing, if you want to make this component a bit easier to use so that you don't have to always do another component, but you could, for example, add a new video in here using the same component, we can go in here, select the video. And now whether you want it to be URL based or you want to upload your own file, you can go in here, press on the URL and press create variable. And this means, so now we can easily change the videos just by changing the URL in here. So for example, you can go to the pexels.videos, search for some nice video, go to copy video address and just paste the address in here. And now, as you can see, we are using the same component for two different videos. We can also make another aspects modifiable. For example, if you want to change the radius easily for each different videos, you can go into the main variant, press on the radius, set create variable. And now if we go here, you can see that the radius is here as well. And you can easily change that as well to match your style. And also if you want to edit the play button in here, just go here. And for example, if you want to make this rounded as well, just make it rounded and you can also change the colors if you want to, for example, give it some nice purple color. We can do that easily. And let's do the same for these. And now if you go back, you can see that our video looks completely different now. But as mentioned, you can also find this, these components for free by following the link in the description and just press on the remix button and you will gain access to the Vimeo component that works in a similar way. And also you have an own component for uploading your own videos and for using the video URL. And I hope that you liked this video and hopefully you subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions or thoughts about it, just ask in the comments and let's see you again in the next video. Thanks a lot and bye.